G'day mates, today's video is one of my favorite ones I've made in a really long time. I'm showing you what are potato graphics, how you can get potato graphics, and my first reaction to them. So if you guys don't know what they are, basically it is a render mode setting that makes your game run insane. You get ridiculous frame rate, you have no input delay, it makes it feel like you're playing on a NASA PC, the best you can buy. And I know you're probably thinking, Aussie, why haven't I heard about this? Well, it's because it's called potato graphics for a reason, it makes your game look like this. So yeah, it's a bit iffy, but I'm gonna show you how to get it, whether I think it's a good idea, and I'm even gonna jump into some games, some 1v1s and Battle Royale to judge and give you guys my opinion on potato graphics. And then at the end of all of it, if you wanna turn the potato graphics off, I'll show you how. I want to kick this off by giving a huge shout out to Slappy. It was actually his video where I used this for the guide to how to download and set up potato graphics. I'll link his channel description down below. Show him some love. I figured this out because of him. So all props and credit go to him for this. Now, let me show you how to get potato graphics. So first off, you're going to go to the website that I put in the description down below. You are going to download NVIDIA Profile Inspector. It is a zip file. So make sure you open that one. It'll then open up. You want to extract this. Now, you can extract it wherever you want. I would suggest probably just extracting it onto your desktop. It's usually the easiest spot to find it. So extract a desktop, select. Yep, replace the files. It's because I've already downloaded it. Yep, and then we go this one. We're going to go back to our desktop now. You can see it here. NVIDIA Profile Inspector. You are going to run that program or whatever you do. If you get hit with this message, it's totally fine. Don't worry. This isn't going to break your PC. You can literally turn it off later in a single click. So in case that happens, all you want to do is click on it, do more info, run anyway. In case you get the security message, click yes. And now you are in NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Now that you've downloaded and opened the program, it is super simple. You just want to go to the top left. You want to search in Fortnite. Once you're on Fortnite, the first setting you want to go to is number three, anti-aliasing. Come down to anti-aliasing transparency super sampling. You want to click down the drop down menu and you want to go down to one that says replay mode all. Select that one. Then you come down to texture filtering. Now text filtering number four. First option you want to do is you want to turn this one to off. Once you turn it to off, then you can go in and add the two numbers. Now these numbers I have in the description. So beneath the link where you download the program, there's one number there. All you got to do is copy and paste that, copy and paste it into this one, copy and paste it into the next one as well. And then just beneath that, you then want to turn this one to clamp and then for quality you want to make sure it is high quality that is it once you've done this that is everything perfect go to the top right click apply changes just adding in here, you can change these numbers to whatever you want. Some people in the community saying if they leave it at zero, their game still felt amazing, but looked normal as well. I tried it out and it just made the game feel no different. For today's video, I'm going to be trying the true potato graphics. And there you have it potato graphics and you can very quickly see why it's called potato graphics it makes your game look like a potato i know you think aussie why would you want this but like i said in the intro you get a massive boost to your frame rate you get next to no input delay your game feels and runs so ridiculously smooth and that's why so many people are doing this in the same way that when performance mode mobile builds came out everyone said it looked terrible now half the player base is using it because of how much better their game runs when it's on so let me show you what it looks like in creative and how much better my PC runs using it. All right, first impression of playing on the potato graphics myself. I've jumped into a flat creative world. Looking at the sky, I'm getting around 1300 FPS. It looks like it's bottoming up around a thousand. I do have a really nice PC. I have an i9 12th gen with a 3080, but I have not tweaked my PC. I've not tuned it at all. And I guess the main deciding point is the input delay. Like how smooth does it feel? Now, I mean, at the same time, I'm no mech demon. Everyone knows this. I'm going to need some crazier players than me to test this out, but... It feels nice. How does it look? Okay, so that's wood, that's brick, and that's metal. It doesn't look the prettiest, let's be honest. I mean, I kind of like it. It reminds me of that 1v1 game mode that people play online, but it does feel really smooth. Again, my mechs are never going to be that crazy just because I don't have good mechs. I don't think potato graphics is going to save me, but it feels really, really nice. And just from looking at my frame rate, I'm getting some decent drops around that six, 700 mark, but I'm still holding upwards of a thousand in creative with what is a nice PC, but this is ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, this feels pretty good. I'm going to have to verse someone and have a proper 1v1 to decide this though. All right, we're loading up in a finest realistic 1v1. I'm just going to find a random person and I'm going to see if I can beat them with the power of the potato graphics. I'm also very interested to see what this looks like in an actual game with trees and rocks and buildings. And we are going to test it later in the battle royale. Later in the video, I'm going to jump in a regular battle royale and see if I can somehow get a win out of this using this mode. But we'll jump into 1v1 and we've got Mr. Joshua Cub. 
We've got the, uh, we got Lara Croft looking a little bit weird, a little bit different. Let's see what the map looks like. Oh, okay. Um, I think that's going to be difficult in the battle royale mode. I have a feeling this is not going to look great in battle royale. <laughs> that's fine. It's fine. It's a 1v1. All I need to do is be able to see the builds. I don't need to be able to see the map. I'm not looting. Let's see how we go. All right. Bring it, Joshua. Now, remember, chat. Um, excuse me. What is this? All right, I'm already seeing some problems. I'm seeing potential downsides with... What is... Okay, okay. Let's just ignore that. Let's ignore that. Back, back to Joshua. Back to Joshua. My man's trying now. Do I have that cone? I don't... I can't tell if I'm getting the cones or not. Okay. It's really hard to tell which of the builds are mine and which is his. Okay. 1-0. 1-0 with the potato graphics. Not bad. Not bad first showing. I don't know what that gigantic brown wall was, but if we can avoid that, we're looking good. <laughs> if we can see, we're looking good. All right. Another try. One more. Come on, Joshua. Best out of three. First to two. Come on. Can't go straight down. I don't know this guy, by the way. I have no clue who this is. This is not someone I've got for this video. I, this is just a random player. He cannot hear me. And he also does not know what my game looks like right now. Wait, where is he? I can't really see. Wait. Oh, we're going for the chop play. Okay. All right, Joshua. A little bit sweaty. A little bit sweaty. Where's... Okay, okay. I'm getting... I'm kind of getting used to it. Oh, wait. That's the floor. I thought I could jump down further. Oh, this is not the bottom of the map. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to see through the map, though. Is that me seeing through the map? Am I supposed to be able to see that? It's fine. It's fine. I thought when he dropped me down, I was going to go down a layer because I thought that was not... I thought that was the floor. Is he under the map again? I don't... My awareness is so bad. I can't see through any of the wood. As soon as it's full built material, you just can't see. Did I just bounce off a mushroom? There's a mushroom there. Okay, I'm really starting to struggle to see where the edges of my builds are. Is that my cone? Did I just... Did I cone him? No, it's not my cone. <gasps> well, that has nothing to do with potato graphics. That's just potato me. Come on, mate. I'm gonna need you to come down here. I need to win the best of three. Let's go! Again, don't think the best showing of the potato graphics, but that's just me. I'm just not very good. All right, let's jump into Battle Royale because that is going to be the real test. I mean, will you run if you're a creative demon? Let's say you're just doing like wages. I mean, tokens, sorry. If you're doing tokens and you're doing Zone Wars with your friends, maybe my game did feel really smooth, but I'm spending so long trying to figure out where I am and what's happening that I think the input delay and the extra frame rate isn't really worth it. I don't know. We'll jump into Battle Royale. That'll be the decider. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, Ozzy, why are you queuing up for pubs? It's not because I'm scared to look bad on a video. It's not. It's because I'm on NA West. And honestly, NA West Arena queue times two weeks out, less than two weeks out from a new chapter. Not many people playing the game. It's a little bit rough. As you can see, I'm even getting pub queue times. So bear with me. We'll see how it goes in pubs. I want to check out some of these skins though. What's some of the sweaty skins? Let's see. How does, uh, how does focus skin look? How does focus skin look? Some of the... I mean, that kind of looks cool. I kind of like that. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. Let's see how some of our favorite icon characters look. How does Cypher PK look with potato graphics? I mean, still kind of cool. Kind of cool. Makes the hair really stick out. All right. Looks like we're Cypher PK now. Okay. We are potato PK going into our pub game. I mean, I'm really scared. I'm really, really scared to see what this looks like because based on what that creative map just looks like, which I don't really need to see where buildings are. Oh boy. Um, I'm seeing some issues. I promise you not. I know you guys get funny with YouTube videos. I have not jumped into a battle royale with potato graphics yet. I have watched one other person play with it and I didn't think it looked this bad. Wow. Okay. Yep. This is going to be an interesting experience. This is going to be, uh, yeah. Oh my God. Oh no. So it's just unplayable. Like here I was thinking I'd jump in and maybe like I could make an argument for, oh, if you get better frame rate, you can overcome your enemy. We're going straight to Tilted. Um, I mean, it's going to be really easy to see my enemies because I can't see anything else. This isn't against Terms of Service, right? No, I mean, it's not giving me an advantage, that's for sure. At least not in the Battle Royale mode. Creative, maybe you could argue that the extra frame rate and input delay helps out. But in this, I don't think this is going to be helping too much. All right, that's it. Nah, we win these though. We win these. 50-50 for the SMG? Nah, no one wants the 50-50 potato PK. 
I'm kind of I'm kind of making my way around. I guess it's kind of working. Where's our first fight? Where is he? Wait, he's back here. We're gonna we're gonna hit we're gonna hit him with a little phase in. Ready? Watch this. Phase in. I don't think that's the potato graphics fault there. All right, we gotta go again. I gotta. I can't. I can't die in the first fight. We have to go again. We've got to try this again. Potato PK round two. Potato PK round two. I don't. Again, I don't think that was the potato build's fault. I we jumped in so confident, hit every shot, and we just got worked. Let's go, Coney. I think that's Coney. That's Coney. Yep, that's Coney. Chrome crossroads. Sorry, I can't see anything. I mean. <laughs> Someone's going to use this. Someone is going to use this on their, like, school laptop because it's going to be the only way they get above 20 FPS and it's going to be worth it. I'm going to have to feel like Noah Riley out here to be worth having my game look like this. Like, I'm all for making my game not look the best. I run performance mode. Lo oh, there's a gigantic barrier over Coney. Do I... Can I go... What did I just let... Okay, I don't... I don't maybe it's not even worth it even if you're on a school laptop. I can't see... Okay, I, oh, there's a player there. There's a player there. Get me out. Get me out. All right, we got a weapon. We got a weapon. We got a weapon. We got a weapon. Wait, they're letting me live? Wait, what? They, they're not running potato graphics, right? They can see me. Where am I? Okay, we need some meds. We can't be going down like this. We can't be going down without a kill. I need to get a kill on potato graphics. All right, round three and the final round. If I don't even get a kill this round, I don't care. This wasn't a challenge video. I didn't say I was going to get a win with potato graphics. I just said I wanted to try it out, okay? I'm not even going to be that upset if I die without getting a kill because I think we've answered the question, should you use potato graphics? No, at least not in the battle royale. Maybe creative. I can still see why someone might use it in creative, but let's just try it out one more time in battle royale. we got a better drop this time. Come on. We can win this. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. We need a gun. What have we got? That's a blowtorch. That's not going to work. Where's a gun? That's a gun, I think. Yep, he's dropping on that one. I can see that. That I can see. All right, we got a ranger. Let's see that. Oh, I thought that building went through there. Never mind. Oh, we got some loot. Is that a mini? Whoa! Okay, it's not minis. It's SM. Oh, my. Oh, my. Whoa, they're above and I can't see. Yes! Okay, we got a kill. The power of the potato graphics. I genuinely could not see that he was there whatsoever. But hey, he's dead. We're alive. We're moving! Okay. We're getting a hang. We're getting the hang of the... All right. Okay. I think we've... Uh, I think we've answered the question. Um, are potato graphics good in Fortnite Battle Royale? Uh, no, they're not. Maybe creative, but definitely not Battle Royale. So on that note, let me show you how to take them off in case you put them on like me. Don't worry, like I promised, if you want to turn off potato graphics now, it is super easy. You reopen the program again. You just go up to this button at the very top, which will be applied default changes. You click on that one. It'll restore your current profile and then everything goes back to normal. Your Fortnite will look and run completely normal again. A single click of the button. Don't stress, you are not stuck on potato graphics. And as you can see, I've loaded my Fortnite back up. And instead of having Potato PK, we are back to beautiful Icon Skin PK with all his rippled abs and muscly glory. We can now see the flames across his chest. We are back to the promised land of regular Fortnite. My final thoughts, maybe in creative, I could see some value in the potato graphics if you just want your game to run as smooth, as fast as possible. Maybe if you have, like I said, an old busted school laptop that gets 10 frames and now you're getting 30. But for me, who's on a regular PC, I don't think I'm going to be playing with potato graphics. But if you liked today's video, please chuck a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one.